Ian Andrews, president of the Guyana Market Vendors Union, is calling for an engagement with the Mayor and City Council to address the plight of vendors who are removed from Monish Wars Limited on Water Street. Chief Justice Roxon George in our ruling ordered the council to remove the vendors operating along the pavements outside of Monish Wars Limited and around the building. The town clerk had already seen the removal of some 30 vendors selling clothing, footwear and food on the pavement. Speaking with this newscast, Andrew said of concern to his union is the social aspect while he also respects the orders of the court. They need to live. They need to have somewhere to sell because they were selling there for years. We understand there was some as damage that was passed in the court. But from our understanding is that it had to do with hanging on the man's building, on the Shua building, and clearing the pave. But we're saying that um, there is a way out whereby they can use a part of the council's road. Because as we speak, the buses that used to be on the other side, they're all parked there now. And by moving these persons, you're losing revenue as a council, and those buses will pay nothing. And these are persons who have bills to pay, they have children to send to school, single parents, and a lot of persons that need to survive. Bartram Turn, General Secretary of the Union, said currently the area is occupied by vehicles and no revenue is given to the council. As it was said before, these vendors are human beings who need to survive. They have family, they have bills to pay. And like what's, and as the president asked for them to be in the four feet that allotted to council where the road is concerned. Because presently, as I pass there, as they, there are vehicles where those people used to sell. Right? No money is being generated to council for that. So if those people get to use that part, they will be able to generate money for council. And they could be able to make a livelihood because they need to survive. They don't have any other way of surviving. And I do hope other people will look into it, you know, international, national, even to the government, we see that something is being done for these vendors so that they can buy the, buy the business to make a living for them and the family.